Introduction to Statistics. The processing of statistical information has a history that extends back to the beginning of mankind. In early biblical times, nations compiled statistical data to provide descriptive information relative to all sorts of things, such as taxes, wars, agricultural crops, and even athletic events. What do we mean by descriptive information? First, let's define descriptive. It's an adjective which means serving or seeking to describe. Similar words are illustrative, expressive, pictorial, graphic. So we can simply say that descriptive information are facts or details that are being described. For example, Subra dua kalibo ang turista nga nagbisita sa Lantawon Eco Park sa tuig 2018. Mas damo ni kaysa 2017 nga may ara lang sobra 1,000 tourists or visitors. Again, this is an example of uh, descriptive information. Today, with the development of probability theory, we are able to use statistical methods that not only describe important features of the data, but methods that allow us to proceed beyond the collected data into the area of decision making through generalizations and predictions. Let's quickly talk about generalizations and predictions through examples. Halimbawa sang generalization, mas damo turista ang nagbisita sa Lantaon Eco Park sang 2018, bangod naglaunch ang management sang Facebook page, kag nagdamo ang nakabalo sa sininga uh, tourist attraction. Halimbawa naman sang prediction, ginalantaw nga mas madamo pagid ang mabisita sa Lantaon Eco, Far e Eco Park sa mga sunod nga uh, tuig kay gadamo gid ang ilang uh, followers kag damo man nagashare sing ilang nga uh, pictures. I know the last example does not sound accurate because of the pandemic, but I hope it helped you understand the idea of prediction in statistics. Every day, we encounter statistics. Some, ca uh, some company advertisement use statistics so that more customers would prefer their product over competitors, such as a certain petroleum company claims that 60% of fuel consumers prefer their products compared to other fuel companies. Statistics is also used to show the quality of a product just like the claim of Safeguard Soap. The company advertises that their soap can kill 99.99% .99 of germs. There is a wide application of statistics in different fields such as astronomy, business, education, sciences, etc. So after learning the background and hearing some examples, the question is, what is statistics? There are many ways books define the word statistics. Let me share one. So statistics is the science of, so let us use the acronym CASID. First is C, it stands for collecting. So statistics is the science of collecting data. It also means gathering data. For example, gusto mabalaan ni Joshua kung ano ang flavor sang ice cream nga pinakagusto sang iya customers. So, nag-survey siya, naghimo siya questionnaire, ginkuha ni Joshua ang mga sabat sang iya customers. Amo ni siya ang ginatawag nga collecting or gathering data. 
The next is A, that is analyzing. Halimbawa, gusto ni Joshua, uh, or gin-isip ni Joshua kung pila ang customers ang may gusto sa amon nga flavor, ginlantaw niya kung bala, parehas lang ang gusto sa uh, mga customers niya, whether bata pa ni or mga tigulang na ni or kung babahe man ni or lalaki. So, that is analyzing. Next letter is S and it stands for summarizing. For example, naghimo si Joshua sang table or graph nga nagapakita sang ice cream flavors kag kung ano kadamo ang customers nga nagpili sa amo nga flavor. So that is summarizing. The next letter is I and that means interpreting. So that's interpreting data. Halimbawa, sang na proseso na ni Joshua ang mga data, nakita niya nga chocolate flavor ang pinakagusto sang kadaman sa iya customers, especially sa mga bata. Sa mga may edad-edad, ya mas gusto nila ang ube kag cheese flavor. So, muna siyang in example sang interpreting data. The last letter is D. It means drawing conclusions from data. So, for example, so after nag-survey ni Joshua, nabalan or nakita niya nga lain-lain ang gusto nga flavor sang iya customers kung edad ang istoryahan. Or nakita niya man bi halimbawa nga babae man or lalaki halos parehas lang man ang gusto or wala gid man diperensya. So, that is an example of drawing conclusion. So, again, Statistics is the science of collecting, analyzing, summarizing, interpreting, and drawing conclusions from data. Now, we have another definition of statistics. We define statistics as a branch of mathematics that examines and investigates ways to process and analyze data gathered. Statistics provides procedure in data collection, presentation, organization, and interpretation to have a meaningful idea that is useful to decision makers. So, parehas ang example ta. Si Joshua naka-generate sang meaningful ideas because of the statistical procedures he performed. It helped him in decision making. He decided to produce and sell more chocolate ice cream in areas where there are many children. He also made ube and cheese flavored ice cream for his adult customers. Now, let's have a short recap. In this introduction, we were able to learn the meaning of statistics. As a conclusion, we say that statistics is very useful. It's a method that helps improve our way of living.